you know, I'm beginning to wonder what it is with me and paths these days. Apparently this is a path somewhere. It looks more like Jurassic Park. Hi again everybody, this is um, Scott Tilly from Scott Tilly Photography and um, this week's vlog is a little bit of a mystery not only to you but also to me um, work sort of got in the way this week which I never liked to happen but unfortunately it did and uh, I didn't really get a chance to plan anything out like I normally do um, the only thing I'd got coming this week as I was picking my daughter up again from Durham on uh, Friday so it's Friday today and uh, what I've decided to do at the last minute is try and find a walk just off the A1 on the way up to Durham and um, come and do a walk basically and see if we can get some images while we're up here so I mainly stuck a pin in a map and it came out with a walk at Askrig in the Yorkshire Dales Never been here before and um, don't know what to expect. The weather, I don't know. I think I prefer this actually to a bright sunny blue sky day. There's loads of black car clouds shooting across and uh, looks quite atmospheric down here. Um, as I say, I've never been here before so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. If I get one image, I'll be happy. I haven't got that much time. This is about a six mile walk so yeah, I've got to put my back into it really and uh, get round, get back to the car and get up to Durham for five o'clock. So it's already past midday and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, stick, stick with it, I will, and uh, we'll see what we can get. So I'll speak to you soon. Taking turns, not a lesson learned Who'd imagined I would crash and burn you got me there, so I'm declaring a silent war. Can't do it anymore. This is not what I was asking for. You know when you do these um, these walks, and I do consider myself these days to be mainly a landscape photographer. But I did used to do a lot of wildlife, and if you look at my website, which there's a link in the description below. You'll see there's a load of wildlife images on there. And while I'm doing these walks, you know, I can still appreciate the wildlife that I see. And sometimes it leaves me wishing I had a long lens. And one of, today is one of those sort of days because there's a lovely, I don't know whether you can see the banking across there. There's a lovely sand martin colony. Yeah, I'd, I'd need at least a 400 mil lens for that, probably a five or six, but. And you can see what they're feeding on because the fish are feeding on it as well. There's one or two fish jumping and uh, the San Martins are skimming across the top of the water here, picking up insects. So yeah, we better move on because the weather's closing in. Well, I think this may be the only image I get today. I'm not sure yet. There's quite a bit of a way to go, but the weather's not brilliant. I do like this dramatic cloud and uh, this might convert again, well to black and white. The shot I'm taking, and if you can see here, how it came about really, I mean, there's an old broken down barn there and this dry stone wall shooting straight up towards it. But what attracted my eye to it in the first place, there's, there's quite a few curlews and um, lap wings flying around. And one actually landed on the wall. And this little vlogging camera that I use has got a ridiculously um, long zoom terrible to try and shoot anything with but because i have this inkling that i still sometimes do wildlife and because i don't carry a 400 mil lens with me i thought oh, I'll, I'll just see if i can get it anyway as i was sort of approaching it it flew off but then i saw this beautiful wall leading up to the barn and then the ridge in the background and we also had some some nice breaks in the clouds so there's some really bright on the cliff edge up the top there i'll show you I mean, it's changing all the time because of this um, this cloud. Initially, I'd got the, the wall running straight up the middle, but I quite like it sort of coming in from the edge. Um, just because that's how it looked nice to me at the time. Um, 
I may try it with the wall going straight up the middle. As I say, it could be one that converts well to black and white. Settings, I'm basically shooting at f13, um, a 15th of a second, ISO 50. I've got the polarizer on trying to get the contrast in that cloud nicely and an ND grad filter, a three stop, just to bring that brightness down when it appears. And uh, yeah, it looks a really gritty image. So we'll, we'll see what we get uh, when it comes out, when we get back home. But yeah, I'm pleased to get something. And uh, you know, from a day where in a place where I'd not researched, I don't know what's here or anything, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll carry on and see if we can find something else. Was it always meant to be? Dream no Right, I've, I've not moved far actually from my last shot and uh, although it, it looks pretty similar up here, there's, there's actually, I've just come to this sort of location before I get to the road again and as you can see I've got the, the same ridge behind me but there's this lovely field, it's the only one here that's filled with buttercups. Now I can't stray too far into it because there's obviously curlew and lapwing that are nesting in this area and I don't want to disturb anything. They don't, I don't seem to have fetched anything up by coming through the gate, so it might be clear, but I'm not going to risk it and start sort of walking along the field. But what I've done is, because I've got this field that's in complete contrast to everything else, with a lovely yellow buttercup, so I've um, put that in the foreground, and there's that little copse of trees, which I've used as a sort of bit of interest, up leading up to the, uh, the sheer cliffs at the top. Now the sky at the minute is pretty bland and it's that horrible sort of just grey um, with not an awful lot of detail but there is some cloud coming over in this direction which looks pretty nice but it seems to be skirting round at the minute so what I'm doing um, I'm going to stop here for a while and have something to eat and a drink and hopefully some of this cloud is going to come over the top of these cliffs here and create a bit more interest in the sky. Uh, settings wise, what I've gone with, I've tried various things with this shot, one because I'm not sure whether I want the buttercups to be showing movement or whether I want them still, so I've, I've shot at different ISOs, um, 50 to 200, so that I've had a, um, it's enabled me to get a faster shutter speed to try and freeze these buttercups rather than have them sort of moving, I'm not sure which image I'd like the best um, so I've done both and I've shot from sort of f13 to f10 again bringing the f-stop number down to try and get more shutter speed to try and obviously cut out um, the movement in the the buttercups but then again you know that might work quite well so we'll see but yeah I'm just going to wait here for a while see if any of this clad skirts over and um, that's got more detail in it and uh, you'll see the image in a minute Right, I thought I'd record my final sort of thoughts of the day as I'm making my way back to the car. Um, I've had to change my route because looking at it, I've dawdled for far too long taking images and I'm not going to make it up to Durham for five o'clock anyway. So um, I've taken a shortcut, resorted to the map and uh, yeah, done some yomping back. So I'm just going to bung everything in the car and get off when I get there. I'm nearly back to the village there now. Um, but I mean, what can I say about Yorkshire Dales? I mean, especially this area, the last part actually, <laughs> Uh, the bit I haven't been able to take any photos of, there were some wonderful, wonderful shots and especially if you get the right light, um, you know, a, a dawn or a, a dusk, but absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, just some planes coming over, you think of the RAF training 
training jets or prop shafts, whatever they are, propeller driven plane things. And quite a few come over. But yeah, I mean, you can see these meadows, they're absolutely gorgeous. And in the right light, I and mean, these beautiful walls. So yeah, um, it's not a case of if I'm coming back, it's when and hopefully very soon. Yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this vlog, even though it's been uh, sort of made up as I went along really, um, perhaps you can't tell the difference, I don't know. Yeah, you can tell me that as well if you could tell the difference. It'd save a lot of time in planning these things if you couldn't. Um, yeah, so if you've enjoyed it, then uh, give me a thumbs up in the box below. And uh, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.